Hi, my name is Dave from Pasadena Paranormal, and this is part of our continuing series on experimentation of the paranormal. Today we're going to start a multi-part series on the effects of places known as Gravity Hill. Sometimes people call them Spooky Hill. This one in particular is called Gravity Hill. We're standing on a tract of land in Ward's Chapel Road in Randallstown, Baltimore County. And if you look through the uh, viewfinder, you'll probably see that this uh, apparently looks like it's going uphill. The theory is if you bring your vehicle down the hill from up there, put it in neutral, by the time you get down here to the bottom, your vehicle is actually stopped and begins rolling backwards. We don't know what the effect is. Could be something magnetic, could be something paranormal, could be a trick on the eye. So today we're going to do a series of experiments and find out which one of those three that it is. I'm at the top of the hill right now. I'll walk out into the street. So you can see the downhill slope and then it goes back up on the other side. I'll walk down. And here's the other angle of the same road. This is the reported bottom of the hill. And we are now in neutral. Foot off the gas pedal. I'm in neutral. As you can see, we what appears to be drifting downhill. We are slowing down. And stopping. And now we are beginning to roll back what appears to be up the hill. Still in neutral, still going up the hill. Yeah, I mean, we're going to try to see if it has any magnetic influence. One thing we know water is not affected by is magnets. And if I dump enough out, theoretically this water should run this way and not that way if it is truly a hill. And it is definitely running what appears to be uphill to the eye but water doesn't have any eyes, so it's not going to be influenced by that. Good. Uh, we're using a standard two-foot level. Uh, we're going to determine if this slope that looks like it's actually going uphill is in fact going downhill. If you don't know how a level works, when the bubble is right in between the two lines, that means something is perfectly level. If you're going uphill this way, the bubble will move that way. Or if you're going uphill this way, the bubble will move that way. So theoretically, if this is truly a hill going in that direction, this bubble should be on this edge. So we're going to go ahead and put it in the middle of the road where it looks like it's the flattest. And you can see that the bubble is slightly to the left of center, which shows that this is not going uphill. At this point, it's very slightly downhill. And then we're going to walk back up the road a little bit and try it again. All right, I guess this is our last uh, level measurement. This is at the, I suppose, top of the hill where we started from, and Dave is going to put the level back down. And it is pegged as going downhill. If you want to look back, I would have to lift this end up to make it level. So this is definitely heading downhill and not up. So that basically tells us that this is an optical illusion. Yeah, so far we're going to do a few more things to uh, try to prove or disprove whether it's a slope or uh, some type of magnetic influence, so we'll do that now. Our EMF gauges are reading zero on both that and the safe range meter. I'm going to introduce a magnet in front of them so you can see that they're starting to fluctuate due to the effects of that magnet. Then I'll go over to the safe range and you can see the lights are beginning to fluctuate in re relation to that. When I take that away, we're reading nothing. So apparently if there is a magnetic influence, it's very slight, not even to be picked up by our EMF gauges. So what we've done is we've brought 
a table with three different types of pipe nipples. We've leveled the table, so if there is any kind of magnetic influence, even if it's not a hill, then these should be drawn, at least the magnetic one should be drawn up. We've brought steel, which is influenced by magnets, stainless steel, which is still metal, but is not influenced by magnets, and then PVC plastic. And we're going to set each one down in turn, and if there's any magnetic influence, this should theoretically start rolling on its own, which it does not. I'll place the stainless steel one just in front of it. Still no effect. And then our control plastic one that shouldn't move anyway. And that doesn't have anything anyway. So according to the slope, even though visually it looks like it is going uphill, we're showing that there's no magnetic influence causing that. So uh, we're going to try one more thing with a string line to check the elevation of the road. And then uh, we'll just call this one uh, how we see it when we're done. We took a long piece of string, we took uh, Alyssa up at one end, pulled it nice and tight, and we got Stacy down at the other end, and we got some stakes to measure to make sure that we got the same uh, distance from the ground, and we have a line level here, you can see that or not. But it's definitely showing the bubble to the left, or actually to the right from this perspective. Uh, which would indicate just like the two foot level that uh, this is going downhill and not uphill. The string gives us a much longer stretch so we'd be able to be more sensitive to any grade variation over a longer period. So this is a good indication that the, uh, the visual aspect of this looking like a hill going uphill is not in fact true. Yep. All right, so we showed up and when we drifted our vehicle down the hill, as we got to the bottom in neutral, the vehicle stopped on its own and felt like it went back up, hence the name Gravity Hill. So we did a few experiments to try to see if it was truly a hill or whether it's just an optical illusion. We put a level in different spots of the road that showed that the road apparently looks as if it's going uphill, but in fact is going downhill. We did that with a string line. We did it by dumping water that ran supposedly uphill from our perspective, but was actually running downhill. And then we had three different types of material pipe nipples, which we sat on level table that showed no movement whatsoever. Also, our EMF gauge and our K2 safe range meter indicated there was no magnetic properties going on at this site. So our conclusion is even though the grade looks as if it's going uphill, it is in fact going downhill.